What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video. This one is focusing Town Hall 12 Lalo, specifically Sui Lalo, because this strategy I've been using a lot and I've been seeing it more and more and it's really been working well. And I think there's a, a pretty simple reason why, it's at least a big part of why it's working right now. There are other types of Lalo um, that are also working. Uh, such as Electrone and Queen Charge Lalo at Town Hall 12, but I want to focus on the Sui Hero Lalo um, and show you guys a few replays. We're only looking at two replays, so I'm really going to try to break these down uh, to give you guys the best idea of why they work and exactly why each part was executed uh, as it was. So, um, basically, uh, this type of Sui Lalo is great on bases where the Eagle is very offset from the clan castle and that is something that we see more and more um, with people trying to keep the eagle away from the town hall trying to keep the eagle away from the queen to defend against uh, certain types of attacks where it would be better to have the eagle um, in the middle so this is a great way to kind of take out these newer meta type bases where the eagle is very offset to the other side um, because what it's doing is it's making it so you can sneak your king or your queen usually uh, in get an eagle get some other value create a funnel and not have to deal with the CC troops now sometimes it's a little bit close and sometimes it's not going to be a lava hound in the clan castle because if it's a lava hound it's really easy just to start your lalo because the hound won't even come out and if it does come out you can pull it to the corner with an archer the important thing is that if it's lava hound and it comes out uh, that your queen doesn't lock onto it you use her ability early and if you have to you let her take it out and poison the lava pups um, but you really don't want to mess with that. Now, if it's a double dragon, if it's a witch type, a baby dragon CC, it'll be a little trickier. And sometimes, you know, it's better to hit this uh, once you know what's in the CC uh, on a cleanup attack. But if you don't, you can still use the poison. You can still freeze it. Um, and that'll take out most CC with the help of the lava pups um, to kind of clean it up. Just start your Lalo as if it's not there. And don't worry too much about it as long as you poison the important things like the baby dragon or uh, whatever is in there. So... Um, having said that, let's kind of take a look at this base here. You can see we got the eagle very offset from the clan castle. Not extremely so, but enough. That's enough. Um, and then coming from uh, from this side, uh, it's always tricky because there's often walls trying to block you from coming in. Uh, but we'll see on the replay as we go ahead and start it here. Enough talk um, that the. Uh, the wall breakers are going to be able to go straight for this inferno the way this base is set up and that's just base identification um, you can do it with a jump spell you can do it with a freeze and wall breakers or sometimes just wall breakers is all you need um, but somehow you're going to want um, to basically sneak your queen in and what the king usually does is he comes around creates the funnel tanks for the queen takes out buildings to push her in he's kind of like you know doing all the additional jobs that are needed um, so here comes the wall breakers after that initial test wall breaker always drop your freeze first Don't drop wall breakers then freeze drop the freeze then the wall breakers the freeze lasts plenty long enough um, So King coming through as soon as these two buildings go down He's gonna be safe to drop the Queen right there She goes targeting directly at that inferno and then she'll step up and take out some more buildings in this compartment including the Eagle so great value here um, You can see the CC range. I'll go ahead and tap on it right here um, another thing to keep in mind, and this is something that, uh, actually I'll, I'll point out this first and I'll switch gears. Um, yeah, pops the queen's ability early, so the lava hound kind of stutters and the queen gets value. Um, and then she'll go down here and the lava hound comes out, but he has an archer to draw it to the corner. Um, so before we start the Lalo, which it, he'll start in just a moment, I want to point out that oftentimes we'll get about 25%, um, something along those lines with your maybe a little more if you're lucky with your sui uh king and queen and if you're coming straight at the town hall it's not going to be activated so you can either use an earthquake spell uh, but i don't like using that spell space i prefer to do a few things um first sniping out buildings on the outside at the very beginning with archers and minions to get your percentage up uh, right when you drop your heroes you have some downtime so go ahead and like snipe some buildings that's one option uh, oftentimes you can drop like a baby dragon to tank one of these archer towers by the town hall then like two loons on the archer tower to take it out so that combination with the baby dragon cleaning up behind gets another like five six buildings um, it also creates a nice pathing because um, people typically have archer towers kind of just hanging out by their town hall to try to guard the 
exterior buildings. So those are a few things you can do. In this case, he's not coming directly at the town hall, so percentage isn't as much of an issue uh, to worry about. Um, but keep that in mind. Uh, you don't have to use an earthquake uh, because you should be coming at the town hall uh, either directly or in the middle, not the very end of your law load. It's just at the end, you're going to have some trouble. So um, in this case, it's in the middle, which is fine. And also, the stone slammer is going to be used here to come through and target the town hall. So let's kind of see how this shapes up. There's uh, some Teslas on the outside, but the slammer is moving through. And um, all the loons are cutting across the middle here. It has a nice rage, uh, two skeletons, and then the warden's ability. Um, so everything moving through here. And check out that out. A little bit early on the warden's ability. Um, I believe the balloons are going to be okay, or maybe a few of them got hit there by the Giga Tesla um, exploding on the town hall, but there's enough balloons to take everything out. So um, as everything uh, kind of finishes up here, you can see that um, this is something we'll see in this next attack that I'm going to show, is there's the idea of using the warden's ability separately from the town hall, because we're so used to using the warden over the town hall to protect your balloons. But if the town hall is isolated enough, you can just use the slammer to target it, and the regular balloons will just ignore it the whole time. So we'll see that in the next attack here um, as this one cleans up. But yeah, good stuff. Um, you notice, you know, the, the important thing is that the Sui hero carves out, uh, does two things. First, it carves out pathing for the Lalo. You have to have relatively narrow pathing. If you're coming across this extremely wide entry, uh, your balloons are going to go crazy and not get through quick enough. So it has to narrow the base a little bit and it has to get those critical defenses, typically the Eagle, um, air defenses, Inferno Towers, that's all additional value you can get. So next attack, this is actually one of my own. Um, uh, extremely offset. Uh, this is even better for it because the CC is even more offset here. Um, and we can see that, I mean, I'll, I'll just go ahead and show the replay. There's also value that can be gotten by taking this out on the way, and we'll see that as I uh, start things. Um, but this is another example of not using the warden on the town hall. Basically what's going to happen is we're going to clear out this part of the base down here, like around 6 o'clock up to the eagle almost. Um, and then the, uh, the Lalo is going to come through here. It's very nice pathing. Uh, everything's relatively compact and it leads straight into the queen and some of these uh, important buildings that can be taken out with a rage. Um, but you'll notice there's like the, uh, the town hall is kind of off to the top. There's not a whole lot of defenses connecting uh, between these two segments of the base. Um, so what I do is I drop the slammer um, to come and get the town hall. And basically that makes it so I can use my warden over the middle. The important thing is that all the balloons don't just go over to the town hall before the slammer takes it out, because then you lose like all your balloons if you already used your warden's ability. But um, in this case, they're going to path towards this back end inferno. Uh, a critical building would be this uh, dark uh, elixir drill, which is kind of that buffer between the town hall and this big area most of the balloons are going to path over. So. Um, yeah, the, the, the idea is that the Warden's ability gets so much value in the core, especially if you have to deal with the Queen, possible CC troops, a bunch of defenses. It's very nice having the Warden's ability to use over the core um, instead of the Town Hall. And the Slammer really helps you because it can deal with the Town Hall. And if the Slammer is still uh, intact, uh, it doesn't really get hit that much from the, uh, the damage of the Town Hall exploding. And even if it does, you only lose the eight loons you have in your Slammer. It's not a... A big price to pay. So right here, um, I went ahead and got a little cheeky here trying to sue my queen to get the two air defenses and the inferno before she comes in uh, to get the eagle. Now unfortunately that inferno actually got her pretty low a lot faster than I thought, so I went ahead and used a freeze on it um, to try to keep her up longer, get the inferno off of her. These giants do a good job tanking, but I already had to use her ability, and even though she gets a few shots on the eagle, she only gets it to about half health, which isn't a huge deal because it's not too out of the way from what the Lalo was supposed to be. Um, now I'm doing the baby dragon technique right here because I want to activate the town hall naturally when I get to 50%, but I need to add a little bit of percentage, so I do the baby dragon, two loons, that's helping with pathing, because look, we want the slammer to go from here to here to the town hall, um, so it helps take out that archer tower for pathing purposes, and um, it also is going to grab some percentage for me, so it's a win for everything. Um, you want to come, I can't stress this enough, you want to come very, very strong with the Lalo. I mean, if you have the queen, all these buildings in the middle, um, don't worry too much about back-end balloons, just come as strong as you can. 
Uh, it's kind of the idea of you want to just use the spells, the troops early, and then have enough up for the back end that you can just kind of overpower it on what you have left up alone. So everything cutting through here using the uh, the freezes to for those archers and kind of for the queen almost. Uh, slammer coming through, good timing because we're right at about 50%. It light uh, the town hall lights up right here. Slammer's right there. Um, and as you can see, the town hall uh, doesn't do much to the slammer. Uh, it doesn't get it that low in health because it's only one target. Uh, whereas with the balloons, it takes out like five at a time. And once the town hall dies, um, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage to the slammer because the slammer has so many hit points. It's like a, a golem almost uh, getting hit by the town hall's explosion. It doesn't really do anything. Uh, so came through with the rage and the heal for those back end balloons because uh, of the wizard tower infernos. Got had to heal up the balloons there, and then some final back end balloons for that Tesla farm to help out there. And there's just going to be enough balloons left up to overpower the base. You don't have to save all these haste spells for the end. Um, the idea is that you have enough balloons floating around. Uh, to finish off the remaining defenses and the level 40 warden actually helps a lot in terms of tanking uh, as well as doing damage because he targets those defenses if the balloons are surrounding him so that is pretty much it a lot of information tied into these two attacks but um, i really recommend this strategy guys if you uh, see a base with an offset eagle um, look to uh, sui the heroes for the you know for the eagle for an inferno tower maybe for an air defense or two and create that pathing and then from there just go with the lalo and uh, additionally if you can i mean it doesn't have to be this way but uh, if the town hall is kind of isolated just do a normal lalo on the rest of the base and use that slammer for the town hall uh, it'll save you the warden's ability you'll get much more value from it in the core of the base than you would just over the town hall in most circumstances having said that thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bisectatron out